From the New York Times to Vanity Fair, Michael Deatter has been drawing for major publications for more than two decades. So it comes as no surprise that he is now considered Canada's most read cartoonist. With Canada Day just around the corner, the award-winning illustrator has created a batch of new drawings that kind of sum up our Canadian identity, which is not easy to do. His new book is called You Might Be From Canada If and examines our culture and nation in the form of satirical cartoons. It is a good laugh, and Michael joins us in studio this morning. Thanks for being here today. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, I loved it. I laughed on just about every single page. How did you, I mean, this is a big country with regional differences. How did you narrow down what to draw and what went in the book? Well, that, that was the di most difficult part. Like, the country is so large and so different. So, uh, you know, one region can be completely different than another. Uh, I just really just one foot in front of the other. I made a list and things that I remembered growing up that I made a bigger list of things more regional and I put them together and I hoped by the end that you would get a picture of Canada. It's not hard, or it is hard, sorry, to get an inside joke for a country this big, but one that everybody will get. Yeah, well, you know, that was the difficult part, but we do have hockey. Yes, and the weather. And we, and we do have the Mr. Dress Up, or we did at one time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the, you know, things like the Friendly Giant and Terry Fox, and, you know. What comes first for you? Is it the, is it the, the joke or the item, or is it the picture? It's, uh, that's a good question. It's both. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, what the drawing will look like. You don't quite have the caption. Sometimes you have the caption, and you've got to figure out how to make that work. Well, let's show some of uh, people some of what you have in the book, which I, which I love. Uh, 120 drawings in total. Uh, this is the first one. You keep a huge wadge of cash lying around. Everybody has a junk drawer, uh, and everybody has a lot of Canadian Tire money. Yes, that's actually my junk drawer. <laughs> <laughs> is that Elmo? Is that the other thing that I saw there? Uh, you also try to answer, you know, the eternal question, just who are we anyway as a country? What sums that up for you? Well, uh, I, I, one of the things that, one of the things I've noticed is that we keep continue to ask the question, what it is it to, to be a Canadian? And that's probably the most Canadian of things. You know, I don't think Americans sit around and go, I wonder what it's like to be American. You know what <laughs> I mean? It seems ludicrous. Or, you know, the Brits or the French. Uh, so I think that's kind of just asking the question kind of sums it up in a lot of ways. Uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, the bag milk. Because now this is, can be kind of a regional thing. Because prairie people don't necessarily use the bag milk. That is absolutely correct. So when I did the bag milk, I didn't even realize it was just a Canadian thing. Uh -huh. And then later, I didn't realize that it really stops at the Saskatchewan border. It's Manitoba to the east that had bag milk. The, the rest of the country, Saskatchewan had it for a bit, apparently. And anyways, that's a lot of, lot of information on bag milk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take a look at some of the terms. I loved this one on, uh, on Chesterfield. So do these work across the country? Like, these are the phrases that Canadians use from coast to coast to coast. Well, I, I think some of them are more regional than others. Chesterfield is across the country, a double-double, obviously. Right. You know, uh, lineup is, a, it, I didn't even realize that that was a Canadian world. Lineup. It, what do other people call it? I, I, well, Q, I know, Q, is in, in Britain. But which is an odd States? thing. That, I always thought the Q was an odd thing to call it. It was kind of technical, wasn't it? In the States, so you just get in line, I guess. I guess get in line. And gitch. And gitch, yeah. I actually don't use that word, I, but uh, I guess it's used. Well, now I need words. to ask you, what word do you use? I just use underwear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's also a reference to well-known personalities. You've got famous Canadians in their beautiful drawings. Uh, the one of uh, Gord Downing is one of my favorites. Oh. Uh, the, the shot from him, uh, you know, giving that iconic shot of him just giving it his all at his final concert with the Jaws right. t-shirt on there. Yeah. Uh, and Don Cherry. Don Cherry is, is such a, like, this is a great interpretation. How did you come up with this? You know what? I was just going, how am I going to draw, like, I want to do, I want to get John Cherry, or Don Cherry into the book. How am I going to do it in a way that sums him up? And I thought, uh, you know, paper doll, the paper doll scenario. So you can actually, if you wanted to, wreck the book and cut those out and dress <laughs> Don Cherry in different outfits. Be a great Christmas gift for, uh, for everybody. I actually debated whether or not I would make that as an entire book, you know, contact... A Don, Don Cherry, Cherry. dress-up book? Right. Why not? I uh, think that would actually I do well. I think that's your next bestseller. That might be for Christmas. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at some other famous Canadians you decided to include in the book. You mentioned that hockey is the one thing we share uh, right across the country. And you, how did you select who went here and which cards? I actually... This is one of my favourite cartoons in the book because of the last card. It's probably something that a lot of... Uh, 
you know, you have Bobby, Gordy, Wayne, and then Haley. Haley. I mean, yeah. I why love not? that you included her. Oh well, I, uh, that's the reason I did the cartoon too. Like, I don't think there is a cartoon without her in it. You know what I mean? It was just no brainer to include her. Uh, I love one of the pages that made me laugh out loud was the one about the money. And very recently, I had my uh, in-laws visiting up from the states. So you're always reminded of this page where. You have a hard time naming everybody on this currency. Right. But you can name everybody on, let's see the next one, this currency. And yeah. this is true. This is why it's funny. Well, that was, uh, that was actually an early on idea I had. I, I don't know. I was just, someone was talking about not being able to name the money. And I thought, that's very Canadian. So I, I did a two-part cartoon on it. I, it, just, it was just one of those observances that uh, worked really well. It worked better than I thought, you know. Do you have a favorite in this book? Uh, I have a few favorites, uh, but one of one of my favorites would have to be uh, you might be from Canada if you're a space explorer, and I have all the astronauts that have been to space, but at the end I have and it's subtle and you might not even have noticed it. I have uh, Scotty and Captain Kirk because they're oh, nice. of course the actors were Canadian. Amazing! Thank so, you so much for being here. To thanks talk for having me. Might be Canadian if and it's a great uh, ode to Canada coming up to Canada today. Thank you very much.